Hey everybody, welcome back to the Infinite Regression. L let's do another, another. Uh, but first, you know, it it's uh, Spooktober. It's uh, Spooktoberfest. It's spoopy month. Anyway, so uh, get extra scared, I guess, maybe. Ghosts! <laughs> I don't know. Uh, hey, we're going to play Day of Defeat. Um, I was trying to decide whether I should play the original or the remake, the source version. You know, these source, source versions, right? I got it. Source versions of games have turned out to be pretty awesome. Um, you know, Half-Life Source. Oh, the old Valve logo. My goodness. Powered by Source. Indeed. Um, anyway. Ooh, keyboard and mouse. What? I thought this was... Okay, let's find servers. Um, wow. One person and 19 bots. Uh, three people and... Okay. Uh, let's just connect to this one. Okay, I I guess I I was expecting something different with this one. I was honestly expecting no skill required. <laughs> uh, U.S. M1 Grand. Other okay. Uh, sniper assault support. Yeah, let's be one of these. You will spawn as support. Okay, that looks grainy as frick. Is that how it's supposed to be? Wait. Prepare for assault, men. We're taking this sector back. We are. We're going to take this sector back. Does this capture the flag? Okay, so if I joined a server with nobody in it... Wait. They have teleporters in freaking... World War Two times. Okay. Yeah, obviously nobody else is in here because I haven't died. Waiting for teammates. Come on, teammates. Yeah, I like that, you know, the way that it does the clip there. Okay. I want to see what's up here in the bunker. Okay, well, obviously we need to play one that people are in. Um, let's do this one. Because it's got one player in it. And some bots. Okay, uh... We're going to be U.S. Army. We'll, we'll do the same thing that we did. Okay. I picked up some tint. This 
So I'm doing D-Day, which this is cool. It's never been done in a video game before. <laughs> also sarcasm. Anyway. Oh, jeez. Oh, I died. I was killed by Sarge. Yeah, it's funny because I think I like this thing on, um, yeah, let's see. All right. Yeah. Boo ba doo ba doo boo ba doo boo ba doo boo 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 doo boo. We planted the charge. We did. Good for our team. I don't know how to go pro. Oh, that my guy. <laughs> That's my guy. <laughs> How are you, my guy? I thought you were an enemy. I thought those were Germans that, yeah, ran past me. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh, U.S. Army wins. Hooray. We did it. We are the winners. Okay, so obviously I get to play lots of games of yours. <laughs> One kill, two deaths. <laughs> Yay. Picked up some TNT. Let us see. What we can see. I like how this guy runs with the stick up his butt.
Oh, jeez. Got him. Okay. Oh. I thought, I thought he was on my team. Oh my god, I, I literally thought I was following someone on my team. Oh, goodness. Let's go this way for once. Yeah, obviously guys on my team have a star over their head. Let's go this way and try not to get shot. Oh, come on. Go down the ladder. There we go. Charges planted on enemy equipment. Over. Um. Yeah, I don't even know where the fighting is happening at this point. Clearly. I don't even see anyone else. <laughs> it sent the elevator without me. Um... Didn't I pick up some TNT? Oh, this is the one that's already blowed up. Anyway. My boy, look what they did to my boy. friend. Okay. I don't know where the fighting still is, but it's apparently still happening. Closer to it. Ah, uh, I took one of them, but not the other. <sighs> Sarge has gotten me so many times. 
Okay, I got some TNT. Up and over. How... He didn't even see me. And I got a couple shots in on him. You saw that, right? There were shots. Shots were fired. Let's get some TNT. I don't know how to plant the TNT. But I, I do know, like... This is pretty fun, to be honest. Can I switch my loadout? I wonder. You're welcome, dude. Oh, frick. Okay. Hold this position. No, I don't want to hold this position. Wait, hold it. I don't know how to change my loadout. Oh, but wouldn't it be fun to, like, go ape nuts on somebody with a trench knife? That, that would be fun. That'd be a good time. One. I got I got more kills than I got deaths. Hey. Okay. I didn't see that charge until it was too late. <laughs> Such a moron. Oh, and then I got hit by the... Okay, this does not look good for Homestar Runner. <laughs> okay. We are getting massacred. Oh, too late do I see the guy shooting me in the face. <sighs> Wait, Hans Grieber, wasn't he the one from Inglorious Bastards who, uh... Wait. Oh, thank you for backing me up there, friend. Crap. Oh. Thank you, friend. Holy Moses. Nah, I'm not going down there. Got him. Huzzah. Got him. I'm not complete trash against uh, German bots. Wait, you're, you're frying your friend. Your foe. 
Oh my god, I'm just gonna take out the whole freaking German army right here. Instant stat boost. Oh my god, are they all gonna come through there? <laughs> well, that's gonna help my stats a little bit. Oh my god. <laughs> I am dominating. I've never dominated in a game like this before. Never. Never ever. Ah. Wait. Kill my buddy, will you? Crap. Get... I was trying to get undercover. I did not get undercover. Okay. The Allied victory is assured. Yes. Nineteen kills. Okay, nice. Let's see. Let, let's try a different server. Okay. And maybe we'll do all right. Who knows? Who knows? Wait, is it? Okay. Always U.S. Army. Um, okay, 30 cal. Um, Thompson. A Tommy gun! Yeah, we're, we're gonna have fun with the Tommy gun. Oh. Okay. So I don't know this map at all, obviously. I'm just walking into stuff. Okay. I have spotted a teammate. Good. I would like to spot a sniping position. Do smoke grenade, let's do frag grenade. Okay. So that's gonna be my loadout. Um Okay. Ah. Oh. Dang it. Hans Grieber would do a thing like that. then I can't say that I saw that coming but I yeah it stands to reason that I'm much worse when it's like you know 
Hans Griever. Stop killing me, Hans. You're such a douche nozzle. Anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna jump out the window. Okay, I should really learn to crouch. That that should be a thing that I learn. Oh god. Oh, I just barely get up there and I man these these Nazis are ruthless. Who would have thought, you know? Freaking ruthless Nazis? Is that historically accurate? Am I learning history? been killed by at this point. I miss my old gun. Here, hold up. I thought I could change my class by hitting... Well, not anymore. I can't, apparently. Okay. These Germans are ruthless! The Nazis had just about sewn up this whole thing. Friggin' Nazis. Did I get one of them? Yeah, I got Metzer. Take that, Metzer. Ah. I'm, yeah, I, I went from feeling pretty good about how I'm doing it this game to feeling like I'm not good at all. And what has changed? Playing against actual humans. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Medicine Man. He's absolutely brutal. There's so many of us, and we are so weak and powerless against these ruthless friggin' Nazis. Okay, how do I crouch? Like, I've tried all of the... Oh, there we go. That's a game changer right there. What that is. Oh no. 
Oh no. But with this power of crouching, I shall take cover. <laughs> you know. Like someone who doesn't want to get shot in the face immediately. Ugh. Oh. I stick my neck out for one freaking second and they shovel bullets into my face. Oh, God. Medicine man. How many times has he killed me? He must be the actual human. <laughs> Knew I should have picked the Nazis. medicine man oh okay I, I'll, I'll do three more deaths and then I'll put a score on this thing Freaking Nazi. Wait. Who shot me? already dead. How many, was that my first or second death since I said three more deaths? Oh, I took damage from that fall. God, <laughs> you got bazooka right in the face. I, I didn't even know where I was. Oh, he was right there. Oh, God. 
Okay, that that was at least two, so. Okay, and I didn't hurt myself falling out of a window that time. Those are my guys. Wait. I keep shooting at my own guys. Ho oh, ho, I secured the location. Ow! Then I got shot in the face. Okay. So I said after the third death, right? Oh, goodness. Who would have thought that I would start enjoying shooters like these? Fishman joined team unassigned. G.I. Joe. the game um hey that, that was a good time uh give me a second i'll put a score on it okay uh so yeah we we played ourselves some day of defeat had fun with it and yeah that, that was a, that was a good time um had fun with it. it it was enjoyable anyway um yeah it's interesting how um playing these games I've, I've played several of them now in a row and it kind of changes my mind on these games and how I like them how I feel about them and whatnot kind of makes me want to go revisit some of the ones that I've been super terrible at anyway because uh, this one I wasn't super terrible at uh, I got better over time and, uh, yeah, is is okay. It's just, man, that one guy on the Nazi team, the, you know, medicine man, kept shooting everyone in the head. <laughs> and so I'm guessing he was the human player and was just, you know, murdering everyone, including me. Anyway, uh, but yeah, here's, here's, like, it's funny because... Um, games like this, I feel it's not a regular gameplay experience because your gameplay experience um, will vary greatly based on the kind of players that you're playing against, the kind of scenarios that you get dropped into, the kind of servers that are available, especially when you're playing these older games and there aren't that many servers around. Um, yeah, it, it is a uh, a problem <laughs> if you want to be playing these games and, you know, there just aren't people on the servers. Like, I do have some online games in my collection, Architect Project, I'm looking at you, um, where they're just dead, you know? It was meant to be a massively multiplayer online experience, and now it's just dead. You know, and so that that is a huge part of the problem there. Um, and, and so I don't know how to grade these like regular games because it's not the same kind of an idea. So I don't like putting regular scores on them. So here's how I felt with this one. 
Um, it'd be like me with mechanical keyboards, pretty much. That's my final score for Day of Defeat. Now, here's what I mean about that. Um, I am constantly like, just one more. <laughs> I have entirely too many mechanical keyboards. I am such a butt about it. Um, but, hey, listen, listen to this bad boy, because this is actually what this is. This is a uh, drop control. It's a 10 keyless aluminum frame, full RGB'd out to the max, um, except I only use the uh, underglow RGB. The There's a stripe along here. I don't use the, the ones on the keycaps because I have some sweet, uh, you know, orange and black uh, carbon keycaps. Anyway, but listen to this bad boy. Hold up. Hold up. I'm just going to put this... Get close, microphone. Yeah, y'all hear that? Oh, jeez. All of a sudden, I'm searching for things. Here's the space bar. And I know that's more rattly than most people like, but... I like it. I like it a lot. I tend to have different opinions about my keyboards and how I like them, much different than most people. Um, a lot of people are all about that thock. And at school, my work keyboard, well, one of my work keyboards, because I have multiple, because I have a problem. Um, a student asked me today, she was like, do you change those out every day? And I'm like, not every day. It's usually like once a week. But yeah, I use different keyboards a lot. And she's like, how many do you have? And I was like, yeah, we don't talk about that. <laughs> because I, I legitimately don't know the answer to the question, how many keyboards do you own? Um, but yeah, they're my babies, and I like them. And and this one is a drop control with Akko Ocean Blue switches, and it's you know it's super duper. I I love the sound of it. And could I get the space bar to be a little less rattly? Yeah, I probably could, you know. But I I don't mind it. Other people, it's like you know nails on a chalkboard. But to me, that, that ain't no thing. I like it just fine. Anyway, people, that is it for this one. And I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye.